This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to bring beautiful presence to your online business. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be another McDonald's challenge because Jay Balvin came out with a McDonald's meal a few weeks back, I'm a little late. I was late to the party for the Travis Scott meal as well. I'm late for the J Balvin meal, but better late than never. So for this video, we're not gonna be going crazy like the Travis Scott meal challenge I did. I ordered 10 of those. Today, we're gonna order five of them. And for the first or second one, we're gonna try to eat it as fast as we can. I know I did that in the Travis Scott one as well. And I saw that Matt Stoney and Badlands Booker did it in a minute. I think Matt Stoney was less than a minute, but today, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it in a minute because there's gonna be no liquids. I mean, there's a McFlurry in it, but if you've ever tried to eat anything fast without like an actual like water liquid, it's really tough. And I'm gonna to try to use no liquid for that particular segment. So only the McFlurry and that's gonna make it more tough. Also, just a quick reminder, it's not healthy to eat five McDonald's meals in a row, like in one sitting. That's definitely not healthy. So I advise you, don't do that. I try to give myself about a week space every time I do these videos. Some of you guys don't understand that, but I'm letting you guys know that verbally. So with all that said, let's go pick up our 5J Balvin meals. Am I saying that correctly? Balvin? Balvin. Yeah, it's Balvin. And see how fast I can eat this meal. And before we leave, just a little Reese's action. I know some of you guys love her. So there she is in all her glory. Oh, she is just the cutest thing. This one is Reese's, guys. She's the one that has a poofy face and Oreo has like a longer face. How you doing? How you doing? And then we gotta go see Oreo. Oh, there she is. Are you waiting for mama? Oh yeah, you're waiting for mama. Hi, I gotta show you to the people as well. You guys are stars. They don't care about me. They don't care about you too. Oh, they get along perfectly. They love each other. And with that said, let's go get our food. Hello, um, can I please have five J Balvin meals? No pickles or mustard. There is no mustard in Big Macs. It's only Big Mac sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Is this everything? Okay, thank you so much. Todo, 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 todo. There is nothing better than the smell of fresh fries. Fantastic, I'll see you guys at home. And before we continue, just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Squarespace, and why I love it so much. I personally use Squarespace for going on two plus years, and I have zero regrets. At first, having your very own website can sound like a scary thing to do, and having someone else build a website for you can cost some pretty scary money. But Squarespace has made building a website very simple, affordable, and very helpful for those of you that don't know where to start. They offer many resources to get you started, such as webinars, forums, blogs, and more. And you can buy your domain right off of Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform with everything you'll need to get your business or passion to the next level. Now, I said this before, and I'll say it again, and again, and again, and again. Having your very own website is an investment in yourself. I believe everyone should have their very own website, whether it's a passion project, a future or current business, or just to get your name out there in the internet ecosystem, you should have a website, and it's never been simpler. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. You literally have nothing to lose. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash natefigs to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much, Squarespace. Uh, thank you guys and back to today's video. All right, the J Balvin Mill. One Whopper. <laughs> one Fry and a McFlurry of your choice, I think, because he asked me what McFlurry I wanted. All I saw was Oreos on the menu. So I just said, screw it, we're gonna get all Oreo, and that's what we did. One of these is already half gone. I did that for the thumbnail, and then I just kept eating and eating and eating, and I spilled all over my shirt. So as you guys know, we're gonna go ahead and speed eat the first one. This is still an ice cream, so it's not going to be easy, but I think I will keep the water on standby, which I'll do right now, just in case for some reason I start choking, which let's hope that doesn't happen, but ice cream ain't gonna help. Water will definitely help with that one. So the goal, it would be really cool to do this in under one minute. I don't think it's gonna happen unless Matt Stoney does it online, which I'm pretty sure he'll probably post a video on this very soon. He's pretty hip on trends. Realistically, one minute 30. That I'd be happy with that and uh, uh, put that right there. 
Okay. So in three, two, one, timer started. Let's do this. I think it's good. Time. A minute 34. Ah, ah, brain freeze. Oh, oh my god, I get a brain freeze. Oh my lord. Oh, it's so weird when you're trying to eat fast and you have a brain freeze at the same time. Oh, that doesn't feel good. My mouth is all oh, chopped up from the fries. It is so much harder to do it without liquid. With liquid, I would have forced it down. One minute and 34. That's pretty much what I thought I was gonna get anyway. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a little bit of leftover. Let me clean it up real quick. So we have one down. I think I want to try to speed eat another one. See if I can beat that time. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Maybe if I pull out the fries and put them right here. Oops. That'll help me just a tad bit. Should I do fries first and then burger? No, burger then fries. Round two. In three, two, one, start. and we beat my time. I think it was 127. We did a little better. Oh, now my mouth is really scratched up. I'm not doing that a third time. I'm happy that I beat the first time. All right, that's two J Balvin meals down. Three more to go. Just clean up real quick. All right, guys, so for the J Balvin meal, I don't know why I'm doing a food review but this is a food challenge and food review. And you know what? I realized for my Travis Scott meal challenge video, I didn't get any barbecue sauce and some other people on YouTube didn't get the barbecue sauce as well. And I think that's a conspiracy. I feel that McDonald's for the promotion showed you the barbecue sauce, got you excited, but when you ordered it, I'm sure the franchise owners said, no, screw that. We're gonna keep the barbecue sauce. We're trying to save money. That's my, conspiracy theory. I feel like they purposely didn't give you the barbecue sauce in certain locations to save money. I get it, but I was pretty bummed out that I didn't get the barbecue sauce because the barbecue sauce is like the best part. You guys know what this is. This is a Big Mac and I'm sure most of you guys know what's in a Big Mac, but the Big Mac comes with two patties, one on top. We have lettuce, we have Big Mac sauce with a bun in the middle. We have another patty, cheese, lettuce, more Big Mac sauce and onions. Now it usually comes with pickles. I don't do pickles. So the J Balvin Big Mac tastes 
exactly like a normal Big Mac. Ah. The texture of the bun is nice. The patties are very thin. That's your classic Big Mac patty, a very thin sliced ground beef. All three of the buns are grilled on the inside, which is a nice touch. And I love sesame seed buns. That really is the cherry on top of good buns. And I gotta say, it tastes exactly like a Big Mac. Stop it. And I'm wondering what celebrity meal is gonna be next? What do you guys think? The M&M meal? The Takashi 6ix9ine meal? This one's done. <clears throat> Three McFlurries. Or maybe the Jay-Z meal. Three down, two more to go. We'll just dump the fries down in the middle. It is freaking hot in here. I don't know if you guys read my shirt, but my shirt says, I work hard so that my dog can have a better life. And that's Oreo right there barking because she completely agrees. Right, Oreo? Right. I'm okay. Two J Balvin meals left. Let's go ahead and finish this. So we only have the two fries left, a Big Macs, five of them done, four McFlurries done, and fries about to be done. Actually, this might hurt my mouth if I put these. Oh my goodness, I just did not do that. Damn it, I just bit my lip. Mm, it wasn't that bad. I've done worse on video. And lastly, we have the McFlurry. This is pretty much a liquid. So we're just gonna drink this. And that, my friends, is five J Balvin meals done. Now, I think at the time of this recording, I can say that I have the fastest time for the J Balvin meal. So if that's still the case, when I upload this video, that's gonna be the title, the fastest J Balvin meal eaten ever. Until someone breaks it, then I gotta change my title. Stony. And let me just preface this one more time. Do not eat a five J Balvin meals. And please do not eat a J Balvin meal as fast as you possibly can because you can choke, things can happen. Please do not do this at home. Enjoy your food and don't overconsume. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you guys are doing safe out there in the world. It would be much appreciated if you can like the video if you're new, subscribe. And thank you for the continued support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.